I was going to film some bits about this foundation and it's noisy and it's wet and I'm cold so I'm going indoors to do something more interesting me and said if you're such a great cook why don't you show us a recipe well I can do that okay. you want four cloves of garlic sliced up two medium onions in hard look and in that little dish there I'm putting half a teaspoonful of ground cardamom. I'm putting a tablespoonful of ground cumin. I don't say cumin because it sounds rude. I put one tablespoonful of ground coriander and half a teaspoon of turmeric, ground turmeric, and a quarter of a spoonful of chili powder. I quite use the, I quite like the hot one, but I don't suppose it matters a bugger which one you use. Um, especially if you you don't want too much chilli powder because some people don't get on with it it makes their ass pelt anyway I like to mix it all up here so we got them ready right there's your bay leaf and your spices that's all you need for that oh and I've also stuck in four cloves now I was looking at a hairy biker recipe and they use cloves in theirs but they just nip off the round titty bit on the end rather than the stalk you don't want to stalk you bite on the bugger wouldn't you inside this posh dish here is um 45 grams of butter and 15 ml of sunflower oil i don't suppose it matters what oil you use but i'm using sunflower oil because it's apart from olive oil that's all i've got and at the price of olive oil you don't want to be using too much of that I'm just going to wang all that in there. Go on, in you go. I have washed my fingernails. Not that it matters because it's only me and Lisa that's eating it, so it's got the same germs anyway. But I have washed them because I get all sorts, you know, I get all sorts of crap under there. So that's the garlic and the onion. And now I'm going to wang all this stuff in, all this herby stuff, not herby, spicy, isn't it? There you go, there's that. Then you don't want to mix all that in. You don't want to be seeing that, is it? It's pretty boring watching somebody stir a dish, isn't it? It's like watching somebody plant spuds. It's quite interesting for the first two or three. It's very boring after that the lid on and leave that quite low for about 10 minutes now I've got this little dish here again and I'm putting in there one and a half teaspoonfuls of flaky salt uh, one tablespoon of uh, what would you call it that stuff uh, caster sugar and three tablespoonfuls of ground almonds or almonds Almonds, almonds, I don't know. I would say almonds. L, not all. It'd be two L's if it was all, wouldn't it? The recipe also calls for 300 mils of cold water, which is there. The idea now 
is to cook it for five minutes without the lid on. Oh, you bastard. It's hot. So during the five minutes without the lid, you just need to keep giving it a bit of a stir just to stop the sticking on the bottom. I also use one of these silicone uh, things because, the, because this is a curved pan. You see how nicely they get around there? You see the, the wooden spatula didn't get around there because it's too stiff. However, you can't get the spices off, you see, at the bottom without the wooden one. You see, you need the wooden one for that. It's a bit stiff. The silicone's all right, but it just bends. <laughs> it's a bit like having a night of passion after you've had one too many beers. <laughs> it's just not going anywhere, is it, that? <laughs> I'm not sure that was a good analogy. Ah, to make it less vomit-like, we've got to add some saffron. Now this is a plant I know a bit about. It's a little crocus, stamens, anyway. It says a pinch, well, how big's a fucking pinch? I mean, I don't know how big a pinch is. Some people's pinch is bigger than others here. Is that a pinch? Looks like something below the bikini line, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, there you go, Let's put that in there. That's boiled now for a little simmered away for five minutes. I thought it would go yellower than that. Maybe it will when I blend it. I've got to uh, just leave this now to uh, cool. See, I'm gonna get me floppy out again. There you go, get that down there. Yeah, it's doing all right. I expect it to be less like vomit and more like sort of baby's nappy. See, now one of the things that always frustrates me is they say, Use four chicken breasts. Why can't they just give me the weight? You know, <laughs> using another analogy, some breasts are bigger than others, aren't they? Right, what I'm doing here is tipping this boy into a, into this uh, jug. And now I'm gonna put this chicken into this. Four chicken breasts first. I've actually guessed what's a good sized breast. But I'm just going to cook them for a few minutes until they're not pink anymore. I have to admit to being somebody who cleans up as I go, especially implements where I've been handling chicken. I'm always worried about salmonella with chicken. I don't know why I'm so worried about it, but I just have this feeling and, you know, nobody wants to get their shits when they're cooking chicken corner, do they? Or because of it. And there's your uh, stuff that's going in there. There we go. Now I need to uh, just simmer that for about six or seven minutes. There we go. And I'm just gonna stir in a hundred mils. I think that's about hundred mils. Yeah, a little bit more of double cream. Stir that around. I want to get all that cream incorporated. There we go. One chicken korma. It's just like gardening really. Clean up as you go. I'm quite proud of that. That'll do me. I should get some good brownie points there. Right. Got some more important stuff to do now.